But looking back to last weekend, I know you were away, but the Rangers fans, it was a kind of funny atmosphere then. You yeah. saw afterwards, you know, with Jack Butland and obviously Borna Barisic, it's, um, it's not what you'd, what you'd expect when the team could still be chasing a treble. Yeah, it's, it's not ideal, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, what happened, um, look, I, I don't really exactly know what the scenario was with, with Borna Barisic and Jack Butland. I've, I'm like everybody else. I've only been sent um, videos, etc. It's not ideal leading up, but listen, that's that's in the back burner now. You can't let anything like that affect you. Sometimes it happens. I've, it's happened myself. I'm sure Granty's been yep. involved in stuff like that. Their only focus now is got to be going to this game on, on Saturday and trying to get the three points, which is going to be really difficult. I think Celtic are favourites. They've got the 60,000 fans behind them. Their performance at the weekend against Hearts was, was really strong. Rangers, on the other hand, their performance wasn't ideal, but they get the job done. And all eyes are on Rangers because they've not beaten Celtic yet. So they need to go into the, the lines then and, and make sure they scrape, bite, scratch, do everything they can to try and come away with the three points and try and keep this title alive. Stephen Gerrard did it a few years ago, didn't he? Just before COVID, remember the, the New Year's game at the end of December 2019 and then he went to the camera at the end and he loved that moment. I mean, if Philip Clement gets that moment this weekend, that will be defining for him as manager of Rangers. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure. Listen, I don't think he'll say it publicly, but he'll be desperate to go and get the three points. And I'd imagine his, uh, his players will be the, the, the same. The, the focus, listen, this is huge. It's huge. This is when you need strong characters. You need to stand up. Because I think Celtic, I mean, I know what's going to happen. As soon as the kick-off, Celtic are going to go for Rangers. And you've got, I mean, anybody knows that. So you've got to stand strong, Paul, and make sure you get through that first 15, 20 minutes. And then when the game dies down a bit, then you need to make sure your players um, stamp their authority on the game. So Rangers don't just go for Celtic at the beginning? No, I, I, think, you, I think you'll come up with... Um, no, a couple of surprises, but I, I've got an idea of what I think he'll go with. Okay. 